Airplanes used to be one of the only places we had a legitimate excuse to stay disconnected for a few hours. A five-hour flight meant we had time to nap, read a book, or contemplate the meaning of life while hurling 500 miles an hour through a metal tube. But these days, about two-thirds of every flight over the U.S. has onboard internet. But how does it work? The airborne Wi-Fi system you've probably used before basically works like a cell tower in reverse, except instead of pointing downwards at smartphone users, the towers point upwards at a plane. The plane's got a receiver and a transmitter on the belly of the aircraft that gets that signal and then distributes it through the cabin uh, like a regular Wi-Fi hotspot. But this approach can be painfully slow. It's low bandwidth to start, and then all that bandwidth is cut up between every passenger who wants to connect. Don't count on streaming Netflix with this sort of system. So what's the solution? Several companies are moving towards systems that combine ground-based cell towers with internet satellites. That's a much higher bandwidth setup, but you'll still be sharing it with a bunch of different passengers, so it won't be super fast. What's the holdup on faster internet on planes? Two reasons. First, there's government regulations that need to be cleared, but the second one, and the bigger one, is cost. Installing this new system means airlines have to put expensive new gear on their aircraft, and some just haven't been willing to do that yet. Still, there's obviously customer demand for faster onboard Wi-Fi, so expect to be streaming Netflix within the next few years. For now, enjoy that disconnected bliss while you still can.